you have any questions, uh, feel free to type them in the chat menu, or you can always reach us at mapping at google.com. Again, my name is Andrew. Uh, my colleague's name is Adam. We're on the Google Map Maker community team. I want to say that it's really great to see so many people excited about MapMaker uh, and looking forward to uh, telling you all about it. Uh, again, today is going to be an introduction to MapMaker and the basics and about how to use it. Not really going over uh, more too much of the technical aspects, so if you're a little more advanced when it comes to mapping and MapMaker, I understand if this webinar is not necessarily for you. Um, so let's jump in. Uh, let's start off with uh, the first basic question. What is Google Map Maker? Simply put, Google Map Maker is an online application that allows you to make edits to Google Maps. Once, the, once those edits are approved through a review process, they will go live onto Google Maps and affect everything connected with Google Maps, including directions, listings, and anywhere the Google Maps API is used. Just as a thought, if any of you have ever seen errors on Google Maps, or in driving directions, Google Map Maker allows you to make those changes yourself. For a little bit of background, Google Map Maker was actually started as a what's known as a 20% project or a community interest project. It was the brainchild of two Google engineers from India, Balitesh and Manik. They found when looking at Google Maps for India, Pakistan, and other neighboring countries that the maps were lacking in data to the point where some cities were not even mapped at all. Enter Google Map Maker. Suddenly, the local Google users were able to update and correct the maps in their area. I want to show for a quick sec, uh, just to give you an idea, one of my favorite videos in regards to this. Um, this is a video of a time lapse of the editing of Karachi, Pakistan. As you notice, or hopefully notice, it started off pretty much empty, and people are starting to put in uh, golf courses, parks, airports, roadways, road systems, schools, and eventually even a river that goes through the city. Now keep in mind that all of these edits were all done by Pakistani uh, and uh, Pakistani Google users. Uh, basically, it was all user-driven. It was all made by uh, people who had a vested interest in the community. Uh, I think that, and for some reason, each time I see it, it's just very, very. Um, MapMaker has been around for about three years and is currently available in about 187 countries and territories throughout the world, but it was only really released in the United States uh, since April of this year, partially because the United States had detailed maps, um, but for other reasons as well. But since its release, it has already uh, been amazing how much has been edited. Um, just to get a, give a look, you can check out... Uh, the live edits that are being made in the U.S. area uh, through our live editor viewer. Um, since it's uh, been made, since it's been released, we've already seen thousands upon thousands of edits, and each one of these uh, little orange place marks is another edit made by a Google user in the United States. And most of these are within the last couple of minutes. Now, not to be too U.S. centric. You can even see uh, edits that are going on live around the world. We have a vast and very, very energetic community of uh, editors throughout the world. Very proud of the people who uh, take control of their maps and are interested in mapping. Uh, very, very cool to see. Now, how does this whole system work? First of all, whenever somebody makes an edit to Google Maps, it has to go through the review process. Um, anyone with a Google account can make an edit to the map, but those edits need to be reviewed before they can go live so that the map stay accurate. In some instances, user may, users may accidentally put in information that is either wrong or shouldn't be on the map, such as, this is my ex-boyfriend's place, he's a jerk, that sort of thing. Um, not really the appropriate place for uh, that sort of information. Um, currently in the United States, all edits to the map must be eventually verified by a Google employee, but in many other countries, users have developed enough clout by making verified edits and reviewing edits that the users in those areas have become their own moderators. Now, uh, and hopefully eventually that will be happening in the United States. Um, to go over some of the review basics, I want to go over a little bit of what the life of a review is. After a user actually adds and uh, makes an edit to the map, be it changes a place, changes some information, 
adds a line or a detailed shape, that edit goes to a re Google reviewer or some user who has been uh, taken interest in either that type of edit or that area where you edit. Um, as a result, um, what can happen is the reviewers can either give it a thumbs up and improve the edit, which happens quite often. And in most cases, if it is something like uh, adding a shape, the Google reviewer will sometimes even correct errors on that shape for you. Uh, another option is they will ask for more information if they feel that uh, they need a little bit more information before being able to approve the review. Um, and that's kind of the second most common uh, response when it comes to uh, the review process. Uh, less likely is you're going to get a flat out thumbs down. Uh, most of the time, uh, the reviewers are very forgiving and will give you uh, a little bit of option to add uh, or edit your uh, reviews. Uh, sorry, uh, edit your edit, so to speak, before they uh, review it with a thumbs down. Now, again, any Google user who has a Google account can review any edit that uh, has been made uh, in the 187 countries and territories where Google Map makes it available, uh, including you. And keep in mind, the more you edit and the more you uh, review edits, the higher your clout is and the quicker it is for you to, uh, to have your edits appear on the map. Uh, now that we've gone over some of the basics of the application and the review process, I kind of want to jump right into uh, actual map. So, when you come to Google Map Maker, it brings you to this page. You see here on the right-hand side the actual mapping area, and here on the left-hand side what's known as the left-hand panel. This is going to show you the information about what you're looking at, uh, what you're editing. It basically is the warehouse for any type of information that uh, deals with uh, what you're doing. Its default location is to take you to updates, which shows you the nice video that was on our invite and any information or updates that are available uh, regarding MapMaker. Other areas you can go from here are the edits that you've made by clicking on My Edits, community edits that are made in the area, or even test out directions within the actual uh, MapMaker apparatus. In the mapping area, there's quite a bit of uh, tools and information that you see here. Uh, in the navigation aspect, uh, you have various navigational tools that allow you to uh, move around the map, whether it's up, uh, north, south, east, west. Though for default, I usually just right-click on the map and kind of drag it. It gives me a little bit more control and a sense of power. So, uh, also in this area, you have the zoom option, which allows you to zoom as far back as you can go or zoom in to the closest detail. Whenever you're making edits to the map, you want to zoom in as close as you possibly can, uh, just so that those edits are at the base of the map. Uh, you also have the street view aspect, which I'll be showing in detail later. But keep in mind that when you're making edits, street view or reviewing edits, street view is a great way to visually verify certain uh, information. Um, if you look at the upper area of the map, you will see your current location. Uh, right now, it says we are in California, San Francisco, and the Richmond District. It helps keep tabs on where you actually are. Also, in the lower right-hand corner, you can see the various uh, editors who have made edits to the map, how much they have made. And generally speaking, if you start making edits to a specific area in the map, your name can pop up right there, give you a little bit of Google Map Maker street cred. Um, from here, you can also see what it looks like from the base map. So, uh, Loads for just a sec, or how it looks from the satellite. Um, now, going into the actual tools that you'll be using for making edits, you have these location and selection tools on the left hand area, and on the right hand area, the uh, tools that allow you to add uh, aspects to the map. For the, um, the actual finding of anything in Google Map Maker, we have the search bar here, which you can look for either location, such as uh, uh, Paso Robles, California, or uh, New Delhi. I'm spelling, sorry. Um, or you can even find things such as hospitals in San Francisco. Now, when you actually do that search, it will pop up various things around the map. Anything that's red is already established. Anything that's orange is something that's pending that, can, that you can actually review on. 
such as this guy right here, which we see is uh, a pending edit for the University of California San Francisco Medical Center. Now, what's even more interesting is say you want to do a little bit more of a search. Now, this is an example that my colleague Adam likes to show a lot, and I find it very interesting too. Now, from here, I can actually again go to hospitals and add in various data on the left hand panel about what specifically I'm looking for. Let's say that I want to see how many hospitals in the San Francisco area do not currently have a phone number or where the phone number is not present in the information. You will actually see on the map each one of these dots is another hospital or that or hospital uh, location that actually does not have that information. Now think about people who are traveling around uh, the city uh, don't necessarily uh, for some reason dial 911 when there's an emergency and want to find the, low, uh, the nearest hospital and call them. Uh, without that information, they aren't going to be able to. But you can actually add that using Google MapMaker. Now, I also want to show, when you're getting a little bit closer, uh, whenever you're adding anything to the map, you always want to first check to see if there's that information already there. Because if you duplicate it and you go through the long process of adding all that information uh, and it does end up being a duplicate, basically all that information is either going to be merged with the original or just lost. And that's a lot of work uh, for it just to be lost in the nether world. So one thing that you can do is you can right click on the map and this pulls up various options, but find near this point will show you various uh, various objects and uh, aspects around that point. Now, since I clicked directly on this large intersection of um, Lincoln Way and 8th Avenue, a lot of the uh, options that are editable currently are uh, the roads. If I got went a little bit closer to the Secret Garden Tea House, that would also bring up other options as well. So, yeah. Uh, and once we get a little bit more into it, I'll tell you a little bit more about uh, what type of aspects you can add and that sort of thing. Now, things to keep in mind when you're ever you're adding or editing any information to the map, you always want to make sure that the details you add are accurate. Verify it either by a website or being on the ground or being the actual person who knows the information. Uh, because if you're adding information that's incorrect, that can a hurt the maps and b hurt your clout. Uh, because those reviews can be uh, rejected, and that comes up on your profile. Uh, and again, you also want to make sure that the feature that you're adding uh, isn't already there. Now let's check out um, the actual adding uh, tool. With adding, you can actually add a point or point of interest, otherwise known as a POI, a line which includes road segments, pathways, that sort of thing or a shape, which can uh, be used to denote a building shape, a structure outline, a boundary, a uh, territory, a neighborhood, anything that would be in a geographical area, you can basically denote with shape. And anything that you can add, you can also find or select. Um, let's take a look at uh, one of my favorite establishments, Life in the Hate Street. This is an area that I am very familiar with and hang out in a lot. I eat a lot of food there, very, very delicious food. And this place right here, if we look in closely, this is actually where I bought my Mother's, birth, uh, mother's Day gift. It was a pair of earrings that were very, very lovely. And it's a very lovely shop that I frequent often. And very nice people. If you're ever in San Francisco looking for a nice uh, boutique gift, such as jewelry or... Uh, perfume, it's there. Um, we'll, you'll notice that currently it's actually listed as a tattoo parlor or a tattoo shop. I can tell you for a fact that this is not correct. Um, also, it's the pin for it is right in the middle of the building, which is not accurate. We want to put it right at the uh, entrance of the actual building. Now, with Google Map Maker, you can easily change these things. First of all, we can move the uh, place marker just by click, uh, left clicking it and dragging it to where it needs to go. Um, before I do that, I want to show again with the street view, you can actually verify where that is. You can see right here in the sign, this is life. 
and 